second, a shower of big block power is about to send a shockwave through Ontario. Brockville, Ontario Speedway, let's ride. First time into turn number three, Mad Max McLaughlin jumps into the lead. The aisle driver right there with him, Tim Sears, Anna Pearson, and Matt Shepard, the top five. Max leads lap one. As Mike Mahaney tours the back portion of the top ten, was stepping out of line last night's winner at Drummond, looking to pick up some spots early on, and he is moving quickly here as we click off lap three. Mahaney looking to get by Jimmy Phelps as they come down the front straightaway. That's for spot number eight. He'll have it at the line. They'll roll through turn number one and two. He'll try to get Britain as well as they power off the corner. Mike Mahaney on the move. Britain going to bite back tooth and nail as they go into three and four. Mike Mahaney doing a great job putting the right rear on the outskirts of the speedway. He'll come off the corner and take the seventh spot away. Mahaney puts it up on the cushion one more time. Looks to pull even turns the fuller. We got caution on the racetrack. Yellow lights are on with seven in the books. Yellow flag out on the speedway. Lachlan going to fire. We're going to go back to green flag racing with the Mooresville North Carolina driver up in front. Fuller, though, going to pull up on the outside, going to try to take the long way around to the Hurlock Auto and Speed Supply 9S as they power through turn number three and four. They'll try to make it stick on the outside, and he does. Fuller to fourth at the line. Up into turn number one and two, Tim Fuller working that outside lane really good right now. Clears Shepard down the back straight away. Now Tim Sears Jr. looking at Chris Heil for a second. In the meantime, Fuller splits the difference, gets by both Fuller and Shepard again off of four. Looks like the 5H of Heil's momentum just stopped in the middle of the corner, and Sears and full are going to get by, and it's going to allow Max McLaughlin to pull away down the backstretch. They'll roll down the back straightaway into turn three and four, but as that happens, yellow comes out on the speedway. I believe there is a car on the outside of turn number one, and it is the 66 of Kyle Dingwall that will bring out the caution. He will refire. We're back under green. Back to green, and again, Max gets a great restart into turn number one and two. Tim Sears Jr. rolls the top off of corner number two. They'll drag race down the back chute, and Tim Fuller got another good restart. Drives by Shepard. He'll pull up in line, take over third. In the meantime, McLaughlin setting sail down in front. Tim Sears Jr. high, Max McLaughlin down low. Drag race to the line. Sears by a car lane. Tim Sears Jr., your new race leader at the line. McLaughlin going to come right back on the inside, but Timmer has gone to the front in that Ian B. Energy Pit Stop Convenience Store's 83X machine. Fuller on the top of the racing surface, tries to carry his momentum around. He'll get the number two spot away. Fuller on the move as he tries to chase down Sears. And he's got about a half a straightaway to do it. Fuller up to second. McLaughlin now third as Shepard still running back there and forth. Looks like Shepard might be just kind of saving his tires right now. Really not making any big moves early on as we click off lap 24. It is the R70 of Ryan Arbuthnot. Yellow lights are on with 24 laps complete coming for 25 this time by. Green flag back out on the speedway. 48 to go with the line. 48 laps left to go, and Sears jumps into the lead. He'll scoot up to the high side again. Fuller right there with him, keeping pace down the back chute. F or Matt Shepard is now taken third away from McLaughlin. In the meantime, here comes Tim Fuller to the inside lane, trying to get the lead away, but won't do it. Tim Fuller driving it right through the middle of the racetrack. Had a good run through three and four, but Sears a little better in turns one and two, and he'll pull away down the back straightaway. Yeah, Super Matt just kind of lurking back there, holding on to third. He's right there trying to put some pressure on Fuller, but Fuller gets to that high lane. It'll draw away. Watching that battle again for fourth. Here comes Matt Williamson pulling even turns with McLaughlin into turn number three. The Buzz Shoe Chevrolet car number 88 rolls through turn number three and four. He'll make the pass off the corner. Matt Williamson now your new fourth place man as he tries to chase down the top three. Williamson came back from the tenth starting position. He's up to fourth, and now he's going to charge to find his way toward the podium. 35 laps left to go, and Tim Fuller trying to make the move to that inside lane. He's up to the door now on Sears. Sears powers away, but but Fuller right there, not going away. Shepard's into the mix as well. And now watch for Matt Williamson into the mix. Here comes Fuller for the lead off of four. Tim Fuller trying to power to the bottom, but Sears will hold on by about a wheel at the line. The Edwards New York driver tries it again through turn number one and two. They'll pull even off the corner, but on exit, it's been all Sears. Here's Fuller as they go down into turn number three and four. He's got Jessica Power right in his lane ahead of him, so he's got to go. Sears might have misstepped, went a little bit too high that time. He'll hold on at the line.
line, but not by much. Just by mere inches out there, Tim Sears Jr. still holds the lead, but Fuller knows this racetrack well. He's got that inside lane working for him. Sears trying to set up for some lap traffic that's on the bottom lane, but as they come across the line this time, it's going to be Sears at the line. Sears trying to set up Darren Smith off the corner, but Tim Fuller rolled the top really good that time. Drag race to the line at Sears by half a car length. Tim Sears Jr. barely holding on, and that time the 19 car drives right by him off turn number two. New leader, Tim Fuller, but here's Sears going to try to come back on the inside lane. They'll roll down into turn number three and four. Tim Fuller gets away. He'll be your new race leader as they cross the line with 24 laps to go. Fuller, your leader. Sears second. Matt Shepard all over him for the number two spot as they go up into turn one and two once again. Shepard knows that ahead of him, and he's going to get ahead of steam off turn two. He'll be your new second place man as they roll down into three and four. 20 laps to go, and now Matt Shepard can set his sights on the 19 of Tim Fuller, but time's starting to run out here at Brockville. 57 laps up on the scoreboard. Caution on the racetrack. Yellow lights are on. I just will bring him through turn number three and four. 18 laps to go as Fuller will fire. Back to green, wheel to wheel into turn number one and two. Shepard kept pace with him on the start, but Fuller's able to draw away down the back straightaway, and here comes Matt Williamson after Tim Sears Jr. for third. Wait, Batman Peter Britton going to slide in front of him. Meanwhile, car off the outside. That is Adam Pearson. And that's going to bring Yellow out on the speedway again as Adam Pearson spins and ends up just on the outside of the wall in turn four. And I mean the actual outside. As he rolls down into turn number three and four, Fuller refires. We're back underway. Back to green and Fuller back to the gas. Him and Shepard side by side into one. And again, Fuller with a great corner that time. Look at Peter Britton go on that high side. He pulls even turns with Matt Williamson looking for third into turn number three as Fuller shows the way. Getting off another lap that time by. It was a 1.1 second lead. As you see the battle between Mike Mahaney and this 83X and Tim Sears Jr. continue through turn number two. Mahaney will get the spot. He'll be your new sixth place man as they head down the back straightaway. Fuller looking for victory here at Brockville. White flag out on the speedway. Here is your parents. One lap to go as Fuller brings him through turn number one and two. Matt Shepard going to try to catch him. Not going to get there, though. The 19 car brings him through the corner for the final time. He won here in 1996. Give it win number two at Brockville as the winner of the Canadian Classic is Tim Fuller. Ladies and gentlemen, for the 34th time in Super Dirt Car Series history, Tim Fuller is the winner as he takes home tonight's Canadian Classic. I've known the characteristics of this place a little bit. You know, I've run here enough throughout the years to know uh, kind of how you got to run here, you know. That Daniel Bryan's made a living up here, and, uh, you know, you follow guys like that, and you, you learn the pattern. But uh, I had a little bit of an advantage here. You know, I brought the small block and threw the weight on it. Obviously, I got a Tom Leahy killer small block. It, it looked like Tim Sears had gotten through some lap traffic and stretched it back out, but was that just a product of kind of waiting for your moment to get on by him? Yeah, you had to wait it out. I, I saw him up there on that top. I showed it a little bit too early, and he got up there on that top, and he started hazing it, and I figured once his right rear heated up, he'd slow down a little bit, and then I could start running in the middle there. But uh, no, all in all, I mean, he, he ran a good race. I just uh, had a little bit of horsepower, so it was a little bit easier especially on a night where you had to have a poor redraw and kind of work your way through the pack on a track that people weren't sure if there would be a lot of passing. It's got to be pretty gratifying. It is, and, you know, the track held up. I mean, I think it started getting a little bit abrasive down there uh, with the last 10 laps, and, and that's why I moved it back down to the bottom. But very, uh, very gratifying to be able to come here, uh, you know, just an hour and 20 minutes from the shop and, and to be able to do this. And like I said, for St. Lawrence Radiology and a, a fresh Tom Leahy engine in here, it's, it's pretty cool. Since being inducted into the Hall of Fame, you got two Super Dirt Car Series wins, and both of them, you had hold off Matt Shepard on multiple restarts down the stretch. Yeah, it's a miracle. Miracles do happen, <laughs> you know. And, and, you know, he's so tough. Uh, I mean, you got the top five, six guys in this Dirt Series that are so tough, and then, you you know, you line up outside him, and you do everything you can do because he's going to. And, uh, you know, fortunately, it worked out this time. I've had it happen several times where it didn't work out, but uh, it did this time.